criminal for some reason I saw it by authorities The mob been running wild for days Hi, this is Irina Slutsky reporting for Geek Entertainment Television and I'm here with MC Frenalot, the very, very famous worldwide Milky Way Galaxy International Rapper. Yes. <laughs> so um, you're also known as Damien. I am. I am known uh, wide, but not far as just, Damien. Just wide. Widely. So, so um, we are going to talk about how you decided to start becoming a musician. Right. Um, totally by accident, and that sounds flip, but I was a writer and a designer, and um, I was doing music on the side just for... Can I say shits and giggles? You can say shits and giggles. Well, that right. is exactly what I was doing it for, and I put the music on the web, and the fan base built up to the point where they were demanding albums to purchase and T-shirts and national tours and to have documentaries produced about me. Listen, I tell you, the front a lot is incredible. Even recommended to rock the mic like instead of a silent. Front a lot raps about all the things I care about, like Magic the Gathering and internet porn addiction. Now, when I was little and I was four years old in Soviet Russia, I was forced to take piano lessons. I was very good. Apparently, my fingers didn't grow long enough to play piano. Did you have a similar childhood experience? Uh, sort of, but inverted. Um, under capitalism, I was exploited into uh, learning clarinet, oh, uh, yeah. which, I, uh, uh, which then made many hundreds of dollars for my uh, oligarch parents. Yeah, yeah. Your parents, you know, the, the clarinet is favored by neighbors worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's talk about this movie um, that came out recently. It has just world premiered the other night here at South by Southwest. It's mm -hmm. called Nerdcore Rising. Mm -hmm. And you can discover everything about the movie at nerdcorerising.com. Or we could just discuss it right now. <laughs> and roughly the same amount of information would enter their heads. So do you remember the first time that people were referring to you as a nerdcore rapper? Or how did that come out? Um, actually, I was making raps. And the only audience for the raps was like the, uh, my computer monitor and like a Boba Fett mm -hmm. figurine on top of the computer monitor. And I thought, boy, this is so nerdy. It's nerdcore. <laughs> and then I wrote a song called Nerdcore Hip Hop. And then the word sounded like something that maybe gullible members of the press would repeat ad nauseums. Nerdcore, hip hop, nerdcore, hip hop. So I kept using the term and then people started, other rappers who were making music in their basements or bedrooms or whatever started picking up the term nerdcore, and it kind of spread and now there's, you know, something less than a hundred, but there's like scores of of folks who self-identify within the sub subgenre. And the, the documentary covers a uh, period of how many years, one or two or zero? Or the time frame of the actual documentary is just the month or so of our very first national tour, which was in 2006. Um, then there's tons of background stuff and celebrities and fans and all kinds of stuff in the movie, and the whole process has been two and a half years to from inception mm -hmm. or from first filming, I guess, until debut. Mm -hmm. We're heading towards the first gig on the Nerdcore Rising tour of MC Frontalot. Oh man, I try to dodge fans with the heat swarming. Front of lots are huge. Let's have a house woman. I love you so damn much. I'll sell you CDs. I'm greedy to get loved back like I she did. So I'm I'm a little bit friends with some of the nerdcore rappers only because Dr. Dr. Popular and also I have to say are are you as good at computers as Whitey Cracker? Um I probably not cuz yeah. he uh speaking of serving the oligarchs he spent a bunch of time um, taking over computers and turning them into zombie networks to transmit spam, which I do not approve of, young man. Whitey! Yeah, well, one time we were yumming and he said, count to three, and I said, one, one thousand, two. And he, he, he went, Poosh. he had my social security number, the uh, bank account number, what was in the bank account, which was $83. So he's very good at that. And so are you, do you consider yourself a computer specialist? Um, well, I... Used an to, IT specialist. <laughs> my um, Midwestern relatives certainly consider me an IT specialist. They do not hesitate to call me when there's a problem with their Windows install. Um, I used to code HTML. I still do stuff like that, but I'm not a software engineer. So what's it like being super famous in the worldwide galaxy universe? 
Uh, is it nice? Is it fun? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that famous yet. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Someday the galaxy you're will have heard. You're very famous to me, right here. That's all that matters. <laughs> Yo, when I hit it, I hit L shift O to the quote, and then dial 